Two of the Burden's colonies for the mentally deficient were situated around Bristol and grew to have a number of annexes. The third, Whittington Hall, was located on the outskirts of Chesterfield in Derbyshire. So here we have a 27-acre site with a wonderful old house, with a pond, a lake, and gorgeous gardens, well kept for what must have been a fairly rich person at the time. And then um, there was a wonderful mahogany or an oak porch with a big conservatory full of plants, a gorgeous setting. And that sort of fit in with what the Reverend Burden was trying to do. He was taking people who had the least and trying to give them the most. What also happened then, of course, was that by when the hospital was at its peak, it had about 400 beds. So, of course, all of them people were actually stored on site somewhere. And I say stored because, in actual fact, what they actually built then was a massive extension out of stone, which was three storeys high. And on top of that, it had a tower block. And people were housed in long Florence Nightingale open wards. At the end of each ward, there was an observation room possibly with a little window where nurses could actually look out of the window at night or through the day and also receive some safety where they could actually shut themselves in if necessary.